how is everybody doing today? I hope you guys are having a good day today. Today is Monday. Um, I forgot the date. I don't know. It's like the 20th or the 19th. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at the calendar in a minute. But today's video is going to be an unboxing video. Um, I don't know if you guys could tell from either the description or the preview and from the box. Uh, yes, it is the intercooler, the Mishimoto uh, intercooler I got offline. Uh, I got it on eBay for a. I got a good deal for it. Um, I'm just going to say it like that. You're not even saying no dollar amount, but I got a real good deal for it. Um, we're going to do an unboxing of this. I'm going to look over all the parts and stuff that came with it. Uh, I also have some other great news for the channel or for the build uh, going towards the truck, which is going to be some uh, some nice parts. Uh, it's all building up, you know, building up to the to the grand scheme of all of it. So nonetheless, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to put you guys on a time lapse while I take this out of the box because I think it's pointless for you guys to watch me struggle for two minutes unboxing something when... You guys want to see what's inside of it because I know when I watch videos, that's what I want to see is what's inside of it, not a person cutting it open and stuff, all right? So you guys hang tight and I'm going to put y'all on a time lapse, okay? This is it right here. I went ahead and took it out the box. Uh, right off the bat, this thing is massive. It is and it's heavy. It's about, I'd say it's about 50, 55 pounds. This thing is, you can tell this is like some well-built, like well-built, well-engineered stuff right here. I'm talking like, like this is solid, man. Wow. No more plastic, no more plastic and banks and whatnot. These huge, I'm pretty sure these are three and a half inch openings, three and a half inch openings, inlet, outlet. Man, this thing is massive. Oh my goodness, look how thick it is up here. That's also probably about, mm, I give it about, a, about two, about two and a half inches thickness. So this thing is good. Uh, and then all on here, it's made to where your AC condenser and everything is going to connect back up front as if it was stock. So you won't have to worry about any cutting, welding, bending, trying to get it fitted into the uh, the truck and whatnot. Up here, you got your Mishimoto uh Serial number, lifetime warranty on that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, man, this is this is badass right here. My goodness, they got the emblem. Now your two options they have, they said they have. Uh, you can get this. I thought it, I'm not gonna. Lie, I thought it was gonna be aluminum, like the aluminum finish, but they painted it silver. I guess to you know help make it last, which I'm fine with. Now, it's gonna look good in the engine. Uh, and oh, the other color you can get also is black. So this is some cool stuff. Uh, also, it came. I opened it up already. It came with uh, just a little card saying, you know, if you want to watch a video to install it. And then they talk about their other products they have, and the, you know, the things that are what makes their products so so cool and stuff. So I mean, right here, if you guys are curious on why what makes this intercooler so much better, you know, it has the way it's made with the bends in it. It's it's max airflow. Like it's nowhere near as uh, restrictive as uh, if you guys know anything about. Engines, uh, cool air, dense air is means more efficient air. Hotter air means it's gonna it's not gonna burn as efficient. Uh, we have the same concept for our aircrafts and stuff, so it's just it's just common. I guess you could say engine works. You know, the more cooler your air is, the better performance you will get. I mean, just think about when in the morning, if you you know, if or if it's cold day outside, and you're driving your truck, you womp on it and you hear that badass whistle. And it feels like it has a little more get to it. Well, it's because it's sucking in all that cold air. Uh, compared to if it's hot, it's gonna, it's not gonna burn as efficient. This right here is supposed to increase spool up time. It's supposed to drastically drop your EGTs. Um, I yet still don't have an EGT gauge yet for my uh, exhaust gas temps, but I need to get one ASAP along with the fuel pressure uh, reading. Uh, but yeah, so this is gonna, this is supposed to be some really good stuff. Um, I know. Recently, who what is it? Dippin' Diesel did one. He got a sponsored one. I watched some of his videos. Uh, he got some nice videos out there. I know he just recently did one and got sponsored one, which was pretty badass. Uh, also, I think his name's like Cumming Kirk or Cummings Kirk. He did one also recently because if he if you watch his video, his he took out the old one and it was sludged out with grease, man. Like it looked bad. And I know that's how the one on my truck looks because, I mean, you look at it, you gotta think, man. Remember going back to the CC, CCV uh, video, 
you got all those fumes and oils and stuff, man, going back down into your turbo. Granted, it's not going directly in there, but some of it, the res, you know, the residual fumes and oils and stuff, it gets in here and it gets trapped in these fins on the inside, man. And it and it's gonna, it's gonna slowly over time, you're gonna lose performance. You know, if you get a brand new stock intercooler and swap it out with a 250,000 mile intercooler, you're gonna notice a little different difference in your uh, spool up and probably a little bit better uh, EGT uh, readings being lower. So yeah, this is it right here. Also, I do have another box. One second. Uh, this box right here is from Reese Diesel. Uh, I already know what's in it. It's not a new a new part. Uh, it's just a replacement. So for those of you guys that didn't know, I did an air dog install. I installed an air dog 2 4G onto the RAM. Uh, I did a sump on the bottom. The sump was from a I think it was either GXP or RDP for the for the other sump. I don't remember. Uh, Rudy's Diesel has awesome customer service. Anytime I had an issue, I contact them. They would either no questions, no argument, no no nothing. They'll be like, hey, it's not working. All right, we'll send you out another one ASAP, or they'll send something out similar to it. Uh, awesome customer service. But yeah, this is just a sump in here. Actually, I'll open this up real quick because I need to look at it. Yeah, so this is a sump they sent out. Uh, they just sent they sent out a complete new one, which is pretty cool. I thought they were just going to send out uh, this fitting right here. So the sump currently installed on the truck. Uh, this is going to be the uh, suction line that's pulling from the tank at the bottom. Uh, right here where it's threaded in, this, this brass fitting threaded into the sump, uh, it is seeping out fuel. I have a pretty good gist why, um, but I still wanted to contact them because just in case the reason why I think it's not, it's not a, uh, it's uh yeah, pretty much the reason why, if, I, if my reason is not the right reason, then I'll have another one in stock uh, to be able to swap it out. Because I really don't want to swap out the whole thing because it's not really a hassle, but it's just annoying. So, uh, yeah, that's an uh, extra sump right there. Uh, I actually, one thing I forgot to mention, I, I'm going to have to contact this company uh, because who the people I got it from, it was supposed to come with the couplers. the Because these are three and a half inch uh diameter holes but on the truck the stock version is smaller so it won't match up right now and what uh Mishimoto has a uh, coupler adapters to downsize to a small to the smaller stock size if you're not going to get their piping because their piping is like an extra thing like three hundred dollars so I didn't get the piping yet um when I read the listing it's it said it was it, it came with it so if, it, if they don't give it to me then I'm probably gonna have to get the upgraded piping which I'm not I'm not mad about <laughs> I need to do it but yeah, guys, this is it. Michimoto Intercooler. I can't wait to throw this on. Um, I did my research. AFE had one. Banks has one. Uh, some Somebody else might have one I can't think of. But me, everybody said you can't go wrong with a Michimoto Intercooler. So that's that's what I went with. And the price was ridiculously, it, it was good, man. I'm telling you. So. All right, all my YouTubers, that's going to do it for this video. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed making this video. What not? You know the usual business. If you like this video, do me a favor. Give me that thumbs up because I really appreciate it. And also, real quick, you know, uh, don't. When you when you watch videos, don't even do my don't even give thumbs up to my videos only. Give them to any video you like. If you watch a video and you like it, give it a thumbs up. Reason why is because especially with the vlog videos, reason why is because when you do that, you're helping out the YouTubers and the artists that are creating this, the content that you guys enjoy. So by doing that, you're promoting their work, you're promoting your channel so new people can see it. So even if you're not doing it for my channel or anybody's channel, do it do it. Because you know it is nothing but a little click. So you know what I'm saying? But anyways. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you stuck it out to the end, I really appreciate it. Um, the news that I have for you guys on other parts uh, associated with the truck is going to be injectors, all right? I have uh, brand new, not brand new, I have re, uh, fresh rebuilt <laughs> injectors ready for the truck. Uh, they're in process of getting shipped here right now. Um, I can't wait to get them. The only thing that's going to keep me from putting those injectors on right now is the fact that I don't have my head studs because after doing... After doing this and then the injectors, I I need to head study. I should have studied it like a long time ago, but I've just been throwing money towards other things. So it needs to get studied. Um, it, uh, and it makes sense to study uh, to stud out the head when you're doing uh, injectors because you have everything off right there, just like if you were gonna do a, a head stud job. All right. So nonetheless, we're gonna be looking for that in the near future. Um, I'm super excited about it. I cannot wait. Uh, but yeah, man, so it, it, things are looking real good, you know, so I got more things in the lineup uh, I just keep thinking of stuff uh, content way to, ways to engage with you guys and bring you guys uh, Better content and whatnot like that somebody commented on one of my videos saying you should do this Oh make a video on MCC to uh, custom tuning 
Hey, I saw your comment and I will do that because I'm actually going to be looking for custom tuning for uh, the H&S Mini Max. I know H&S is no longer support it or nothing, but there's a few companies out there that still support custom MCC unlock tuning for the H&S Mini Max. My H&S Mini Max is an awesome tuner. Uh, for being a tuner out the box, I love it. If you guys want a review on it, I can make a review video on it and run you guys through some of the settings and stuff. Uh, a lot of the videos on YouTube are from like 2013-14 before they got uh, sued and went out of business. Uh, it's 2018 now, so I'm sure you guys might be curious on how it looks nowadays and stuff, which it hasn't changed much. Uh, but yeah, that's it, you guys. So thank you so much for checking out the channel, watching the video, being engaged. For all my new subscribers that from that uh, subscribe from my last video up to this video, hey, thank you to the, uh, thank you for checking out the video. Welcome to the channel. If you only watch one video, do me a favor and check out the other videos. You might like them. Uh, and once again, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Uh, also, make sure you're following the Instagram channel because the Instagram channel is also where I post a lot of the current stuff. Uh, it's a lot easier to post things on Instagram than it is on YouTube, obviously, because it's not a video edited and all that craziness. So definitely check out the Instagram channel, everything underscore, everything uh, underscore diesel. Check it out. You guys are going to like it. I have a lot of pictures on there, a lot of just a bunch of little random stuff. So nonetheless, you guys take care. Be safe. God bless. And until next time, see you.